Okay, so these are the five overused words. Yes, no, sorry, thank you, and okay. Let's do it. The first one, it is yes. This one doesn't mean anything. It's totally fine when someone tells you, do you want to eat? You say yes. Do you want to go here? You say yes. So I just see it's overused and other people use actually other alternatives. Here are the one. Yep. So yep, it is like yes. So when they tell you, have you eaten? Yep. So yep. It's commonly used, I've heard this at school, a lot of students say it, even on the social media, it's being like you, so you need to say, yep. Or you can say, yep, I do. Did you do, you, do you do your homework? Yep, I do. So you're saying, yes, I do. You can say, yep, or yep, I do. Another one you can use, you can also say, I will. Did you eat? I will. So it means, you will eat after. I will, which means, yes, I will eat after. Another one. Certainly, in French it is certainement, donc certainly, means certainly. Have you eaten your food? Certainly, it means sure, like we're really sure, like affirmative, as you can say it. Certainly. Another one, sure. Did you drive your children to school? Sure I did, sure I will, sure. Another one, of course, this is the best, of course. Have you eaten? Of course I did. Have you watched TV? Yes, I mean, of course I did. Of course, of course. Have you rained your room? Of course. Another, which is the last one, you can say, I do, I will, or I have. Do you have your, do you have your, your pen? I do have it. Uh, will you get your uniforms? I will get them. Or you can say, what do you have? I have it. Do you have a pen? I have it. I have it. So instead of saying yes, you can use yep, certainly, I do, of course, sure, yeah also. There is this one, yeah, have you eaten? Yeah or yep. Second one commonly is, is no. Have you eaten your food? No. Did you drive your student school? No. Did you close your hair? No. Did you do your homework? No. So we use it a lot. Instead of saying this, of course, like yep, in no, there's also no. Have you done your homework? Nope, I didn't. Have you, did you use your car today? Nope. Did you take a video today? Nope. Did you read the Bible today? Nope. Instead of saying no, you can say nope. Or maybe there is this and commonly, nah, nah. So recently I've had my dad saying this, like he first came one day to home and then he said, uh, did you bring for us something today? And he was like, nah. And I'm like, what is this? I, I thought this is the one that he invented. But when I went on YouTube and on Google and the search nah, it actually means no. So, nah. Have you drunk your tea? Nah. Have you done your homework? Nah. So I'm saying no. Nah is commonly used. Or you can also say, no way. Have you, did you use your car today? No way, no way. So there was no way that you can use it. Did you do your homework? No way. I was too busy today. You can add something. Did you go shopping today? No way. Or you can also use sorry. Did you rent your room? Sorry. Did you do your homework? Sorry. It means you are sorry you didn't do it. So you're like sorry. Or you can also say not likely. There's this like you not likely. Uh, you are not sure about something, so you can say not likely. Did you shut down your computer, your computer before you go to bed? Not likely. It means I'm not that sure, but I think it is in a no. So you are like not likely. You are not sure, and the, you are you think that it is a no. So not likely. Or you can say absolutely not. Did you drink your tea today? Absolutely not. Here you are hundred percent sure that you didn't drink your tea. You can to say, I'm afraid not. You, you, are, you are scared you didn't. Uh, did you shut down your computer before you go today? Oh my God, I'm scared not. I'm scared I didn't do it. And last one, if only. In French say, sauf si. Uh, did you go to shopping today? If only I could. Si son, moi je pourrais, if only I could. <sighs> okay. Third commonly word used, it is a sorry. I'm sorry. Trusty. Oh, sorry. So here I've actually.
I say three ways of saying sorry if you didn't watch my video go watch it right now sorry so you can say I didn't mean it or I, I didn't mean to uh, why did you maybe you're drinking your tea and then you split it up and then when your mom tells you what did you do you can say I didn't mean to do it it means Je ne voulais pas. I didn't mean it. Je ne, je ne le voulais pas. Je l'ai fait exprès. Je ne pas. Je l'ai pas fait exprès. I didn't mean it. Sorry. I didn't mean to beat you. Maybe you're like, oh my gosh. Ha! You didn't know someone was behind you. And then as you laugh, you bear him, of course. And then say, oh my gosh, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to beat you. It means you're sorry. You you don't. You didn't want to beat him. Another one, it was wrong of me, you say, it was wrong of me to beat you, I'm sorry, it was wrong of me, it was wrong of me not taking the video, I'm sorry. Or you can say, I was wrong, simple, I was wrong to do this. Or maybe, I should never have beaten you, I should never have destroyed your computer. Or you can say, my bad. Fourth word commonly used is, thank you. So, thank you actually has a lot. Let's go. We're just gonna go very fast. You're a star. Maybe someone go, can you go get me that but water bottle? And then, when friend, and then when your friend give it back, you say, you're a star. You can say in chaos. Thank you. Or you can say, you are an absolute star. Or maybe you're a lifesaver. People say that. Maybe you forgot your phone and your phone has all your secrets in there. You say, can you go bring for me back my phone at home? And then your friends run and bring it and say, you are a lifesaver. Or you can say, I don't know what I do without you. Je sais pas ce que je ferais sans toi, mon frère. It's common to you. I don't know what I would do without you. Or you can also say, I appreciate that. I sh you shouldn't have. Many, when your friend brings, give you water and say, you shouldn't have. It means you, you, you don't tell him not to do it, but you are just thankful. Or you can say, fab, which means fabulous. Fifth and last word commonly used, it is okay. So okay, you can say, can you go to bed? Okay. This is my first alternative that I like. Okie dokie, it's the best. Even you go search on some YouTubers, you're gonna hear them say, okie dokie, it means okay. Can you go to bed? Okie dokie. Can you give me your homework? Okie dokie. Can you shut up? Okie dokie. So it means okay. Or you can say, all right. You can say, very well. You can say, right all or fair enough and also there's this one of duh i don't know how to use it so yes this were the five overused words that you should you should stop saying and in this stop saying you have to say this instead of saying yes say yep instead of saying no say no instead of saying sorry say i didn't mean to instead of say thank you say fabulous instead of saying okay say okie dokie that's it so thank you for watching my video if you like it leave a thumbs up subscribe Turn on this little post notification and the social media video if you like this lesson. Bye, see you now. Next lesson tomorrow.